A web fax is a utility that allows you to virtually manage fax communications without the need of a fax machine. You can send faxes from the fax upload tool. Any document on your PC can be uploaded and sent as an analog fax to any other fax number. Customers can send you faxes by dialing your web fax number from their fax machine. From Control Panel, you can view and download your received faxes in multiple formats. To create a new web fax, log into your Control Panel and click the icon for Voice Services. Alternatively, you can access Voice Services from anywhere on the Control Panel by clicking Services, then clicking Voice Services. Next, click on the Resources and Utilities tab. Click the Create button and select Web Fax from the Options list, then click the Proceed button. Give your Web Fax a name and assign a phone number from your available pool. Select a primary location for the Web Fax and click Create Web Fax. You will be returned to the resource list where you can see your new Web Fax utility. Click the name of your web fax in the resource list to open your web fax general settings. From here, you can adjust the web fax name, reset the login pin, or update the location. Phone numbers cannot be changed dynamically. If you need a different number, you can quickly create a new web fax and delete the current one if you desire. To log into your web fax inbox, click Set up faxes, settings, and tools. Alternatively, you or your employees can log directly into the inbox from the Voice Services login page. The new Received inbox is where you can view and manage your fax messages. Once you start receiving faxes, you'll see them listed on the right. For each fax, you will see the date and time it was received, the caller ID of the fax machine it was sent from, and how many pages the fax contains. You can view a fax by clicking your preferred file type, TIFF, JPEG, or PDF. The fax will be opened in the web browser for you to quickly review. You can send a copy of any faxes received to another person by clicking the forward link to the right. If you enter an email address and click continue, you'll be able to edit some additional email forwarding options like adding a reply to email, sending a direct link to the fax or the attachment, and even adding an email subject and message to send along with it. If you enter a fax number and click continue, you'll be able to add an additional cover sheet with sender and recipient information and add the subject and message to the body of the cover sheet. You can click the check mark box to the left to activate some additional options. You can move the selected fax to your saved inbox, download the fax to your computer, or delete any faxes you've already reviewed. The Saved Uploaded inbox is used for storing faxes that you've saved from the new Received inbox, or for storing copies of your sent faxes from the Fax Upload tool. You have the same management options that are available in the new Received inbox, and can even move a fax back to your new inbox if needed. The Sent Fax Log holds records of any faxes sent from the Fax Upload tool. You can see the date and timestamp, and the number that was faxed, as well as the result of the fax attempt. This log will also store a record for any fax copies you may have sent yourself using the Send to Fax Mailbox feature in the Fax Upload tool. The Settings tab holds some additional configuration options that admins or users can adjust once they are logged into the inbox. The first page in Settings is Change Pin. In order to change the pin on this page, you must know and enter the current pin associated with the fax number. You can then enter a new pin number, retype it to confirm, and click Save Changes. The Notifications page allows you to adjust how fax notifications are sent to the responsible parties in your business. If you wish to use notifications, ensure that the email notifications are turned on in the drop-down at the top. Enter the email address that will receive the notifications. You can also enter a cell phone number utilizing the cell carrier's email to SMS address. If you don't know the email domain for your carrier, 
you can click the Select a Carrier dropdown and choose the carrier listed. The email domain will display right below the dropdown. In fax display format, you can change the type of email notification that is received by recipients listed above. This feature allows you to attach a copy of the fax to the notification, include a link to view the fax in a web browser, email the notification without an attachment or link, or finally email the notification with a numeric code showing the date, time, and fax number. If you chose to attach a copy, you have the additional options of keeping a copy of the fax message in the inbox or automatically deleting faxes from the inbox after the notification is sent. The notification receipt types allow you to enable or disable notifications for sent faxes that are delivered or have failed to deliver. Make sure you click Save Changes if you've modified anything on this page. The last tab is called History. You can simply click the month to view the sent and received fax logs, or you can choose to download the call history in a comma-separated value file that is compatible with Microsoft Excel and other spreadsheet applications. The Tools tab holds a few items that are useful to the WebFAX utility. The Alternative TIFF plugin allows you to preview the TIFF image of a fax from the new or saved inboxes directly in your browser. Without this plugin, clicking the TIFF option on a fax will only download the image to your computer. The Adobe PDF Reader is a link to download Adobe Acrobat Reader, allowing you to view PDF files directly in the browser. Finally, there's the fax upload application. When this tool is installed on your computer, you can send any file format on your PC to your customer's fax number as an analog fax.